How's it going everybody, Budgie Pokemon here, and in this video I'm going to be opening this Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Box. Now I've got this in a sale for about 50 euros, which isn't MSRP, MSRP was 40 of course, uh, but there was a reprint recently, which uh, got these put down or pulled down from like 70, which they were, to 50, and that's why I thought I'd like grab this while I'm at it, as I'm struggling to open this. There you go. Now, unfortunately, the booster box are still about 150. Apparently, there was a reprint. I if, I can't see it. It's still 150, which I do believe uh, will be the new price. If there aren't any more reprints coming, or if they're, like, drop-feeding them to us. All right, this is the book. You've probably seen this a hundred times. No need to go through. So many alt arts to pull. So little time. And... Here is the box itself. The box is actually really nice. I really like the box. And all the good stuff. So yeah, the booster box reprint. I think they've been like drip feeding them into the system. There aren't many... Oh, Jesus. There aren't a whole lot being reprinted, of course. Very unfortunately. So I think they will settle at 150 euros right about there. You know the, the stuff that's in this. Just show them any dice, markers, and of course, energies, which I have way too much already. And these sleeves. Now, the sleeves are actually pretty nice in terms of look, if I could get them out. Okay, so here's the sleeves. They're really bent. I don't know why. Um, they look pretty good. I wouldn't use them for my cards, though. And well, I wouldn't recommend using them, because I don't really like the quality of those. You're much better off grabbing some from Dragon Shield, Ultra Pro, or KMC. But anyways, it's nice that they add them anyways, don't get me wrong. Here is the code card for that Elite Trainer box. Good luck to whoever gets that. And get rid of this one. And we have, of course, the packs that we're after. Hopefully we can pull something good. Um, since we don't have that many packs here, I will be doing the card trick. Hopefully I won't mess it up. But let's just jump straight into it. First pack right here, we're already being graded by a Pikachu, which is good. And of course the code card, whoops, upside down, there you go. There you go, three cards to the front, this is a useless energy. And let's go Avalug, Vigroth, Dream Bull, there's the Pikachu, a C Dot, a Lillipup, a Bagon, Litio, Ursaring, and a non-holographic Gorgeist. Right. Nothing in that pack. We still have plenty to go, so let's see if we can get something here. Um, one thing I want to talk about is the release for Incandescent Arcana and the release for Lost Origin. Which, Lost Origin I will definitely get, not on time, not on release date, but probably a few days later. Which should be fine. Unfortunately, Incandescent Arcana, from what I've noticed, the Pokemon Center Japan, at least, has been doing a lottery sale, so there aren't that many available. Now, I've got a pre-order in at a at a retailer, but I don't know when that one will come in. I guess only time will tell. So that's the update on that. I don't know why they why they do the, the lottery sale on the... On the oh, there we go. Trevian V. Nice. We've got a pull. I don't know why they did a lottery sale on that set specifically. It's not, not any different from, like, Battle Region or anything. Strange, strange. There is a cool playmat, though, that also releases on uh, September 2nd, which I might want to grab. I think it should be nice. should be a nice change from the from the um, Shiny Rayquaza M. Shiny M Rayquaza, however you want to pronounce that. There is the code. Okay. Three cards. There's the useless energy that no one needs. I have so many energies, you probably do too. Braviary, Switch Cups, Tentacruel, Sableye, Teddy Ursa, very cute, Mareev, Zorora, a Tentacool, very cool, Smeargle, and a non-holographic Shrapedo. Kind of getting drafted here a little bit. I mean, we did get a, a V at least, but I'm hoping for something else. We still got about five packs to go. So let's see if we can get something. If we could an Alt Art, that would be insane. Probably not gonna happen. I'm just telling you, it would be insane. Let's see if we can turn this, which so far looks like Evolving Cries, into Evolving Skies. But, of course, it's an ETB. You're not expected to get anything that we got AV anyways. 
is in and of itself good enough. Of course, everybody's just hoping for the alternate arts, and I am too. There's a lot of cool alternate arts in here that I would like to get. Naked, Bergmite, Altaria, and a non-holographic Thievel. Man, oh man. It's been really bad. Something that I've heard though for these um, for these reprinted for these reprinted ETBs, apparently the pull rates are really really bad. Which uh, right now it looks like that's true. It looks like the pull rates are pretty bad. But I guess we'll see. Treasure energy. Maybe we can get something after a ribbon badge. A flaffy. Let Leo. Eevee. Q to fly. Hitmonchan. Lotat, Swubat, oh cool, Rayquaza, I love Rayquaza. This is already a win in my book. Any Rayquaza we pull is amazing. Probably this Rayquaza. I do already have the alt art, so I don't need to pull that. Of course I would be glad to, but I already have the alt art, which I did pull in my very first booster box opening. This is actually a set I first opened when returning to the hobby after a 19 year break. So what am I doing? Get these off the screen right here. Okay, and there you go. Toy catcher. So that was pretty cool. Of course, getting back into the game, back into the hobby, and immediately pulling an alt art, and not only one alt art, also the alt art that you were chasing is absolutely insane. Insane amounts of luck. There's Zinnia. Zinnia is nice. I'm gonna put that aside. And the Lilligand. Very cool. I really like the, the alternate art from Astro Radiance from uh, Hizuya League and really, really like that card. There's a Sinia. Put that away. And two more, two more packs. Maybe we can get some Lost Pack Magic like in the Astro Radiance. In the Astro Radiance opening. We did pull a full art Beedrill. We did already get an alt art in that opening. If you haven't seen that already, go check that out. But here we go, Lightning Energy, and Herdier, Spirit Mask, Palpitote, Rafflet, Lotet, chilling in a pool or in a in a well, I guess, Emolga, Wubat, Glastifleur, Gorgeist, and a non-holographic Seismitoad. Okay, yes, we are. We are going to need some real Lost Pack magic here. Some real aspect magic. It is a Rayquaza art pack, so maybe alternate art Rayquaza? Now you know what? I'm gonna put a pull in. Oh, I'm gonna put a, uh, a call in. We're gonna pull the alternate art Rayquaza VMAX from this pack. Like 100%. Alt art Rayquaza VMAX. There you go. That's my, that's my call of the day. Maybe it's true. We'll see. Psychic energy. Bloet, Boldor, Aroma Lady, Litleo, Chinchow, Dano, Pumpkaboo, or Pumpkaboo, Corvanana, Rescue Carrier, and. Ah, okay, and a non holographic rare Falapple. Okay, not really that great. Those, those weren't really great pulls in this ETB. I guess from the from the very big from the very big um, size testing size of one. So far the polls, which okay, don't get me wrong, we got a Rayquaza. This is nice. Two V's from an ETB, and I guess a Zinnia. We shouldn't count that, but I like Zinnia. So this is all I've got. Um, it is still evolving cries, unfortunately, but we can't change that. Anyways, I still had fun. Um, there will be more coming. Of course, the Lost Origin opening will be opening one booster box of that. Maybe an ETB, but probably not. Probably just stick to one booster box. Uh, that releases on September 9th, if I'm not mistaken. So, like, a few days after that, maybe, like, Wednesday, I think September 9th is a Friday. Let me just check quick. Yeah, that is a Friday. So, probably on Wednesday is when I should have my booster box. Should upload one opening. And then Incandescent Arcana. Which, I don't know when I will get my booster box of that, but I will upload the opening whenever I get it, so stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this video, even though we got very, very terrible pulls, a like and a sub would be appreciated. Thank you for watching. Peace, peace.